Hey, Mike Coletta here. I'm here with a, another version of my video Space Cab podcast. And I was kind of looking at some articles. I, I know I know a little bit about the Starlink uh, satellites from SpaceX. A lot of people always look at look for the satellite train in the sky after a, a, a launch and different things like that. And uh, that's pretty much all I've done, too. And I did see some uh, news articles about some beta testing they were going to be doing. Uh, they were asking for beta testers for the Starlink Internet system and things like this. And, and the Internet was sharing a little bit of some antennas, pictures of antennas, what um, some of the antennas look like on the ground and things like this. But what I found today was kind of interesting. Uh, it's a little bit more detailed information about some something that somebody found. Uh, and I had tweeted that out a little bit. And um, it was a, a article about a person who was driving around and saw a... SpaceX Starlink ground station under construction. So this person stopped and actually shared some some photos of this uh, ground station being constructed. Some really detailed photos. And I looked at the article and was reading it. And uh, it talked a little bit more about the SpaceX. Uh, they're in, in the process of setting up ground stations that will be part of the uh, Starlink network. And a resident in Canada who goes by the username Andrew867 uh, via, via Reddit uh, found a SpaceX Starlink ground station, also known as Earth Station, in St. John's, a city in Newfoundland and uh, Labrador, uh, Canada. So he was sharing a bunch of the photographs on his, uh, his account. And so here's his account here. And some, he went up, I guess, went up into the area... Went on the roof or something because he's got some pretty detailed uh, photos that on here, and here's some of the photos that he has. So he says, you know, Starlink Gateway St. John's NL, and uh, he shows the fenced in area, um, Earth East Link uh, on the outside of this building. I think that's another uh, network system that it's uh, connected with. And then he's gone up and he shows some of the cabling, some of the dishes, uh, some more of the cabling, and then some conduits. There he talks about some future conduits uh, for more uplink terminals and things like this. So he went around and, and shared this SpaceX Starlink ground station construction uh, with his viewers. And here's some of the... Uh, boxes, the probably power and, and routing and things like that. And here's some of the antennas uh, that he took photos of. And he's got some close-ups. And uh, actually one of these close-ups here talks about the um, proprietary-ness of this system. Now hold on. I'll show you what the notice, the little note actually says uh, underneath this antenna here. And they did a little close-up on this, and it says the um, pro prototype. Property of SpaceX prototype, not for sale or lease. This unit is intended for demonstration use only. This prototype unit may not comply with the European Union directives. It is for technical evaluation only. The device has not been authorized as required by the rules of the Federal Communications Commission. This device is not and may not be offered for sale or lease or sold or leased until authorization is obtained. Therefore, ownership must remain with SpaceX. So this is a prototype uh, system, I guess, right now, and all this equipment. But that was kind of interesting that he shared the, uh, the, the photos that he captured, uh, Andrew867 on Reddit. So if you want to go, just go check his out. There's more he writes about. But I just kind of wanted to share this information. It was kind of interesting because I know I've always seen just the antenna portion and uh, of articles and things like this. And this is actually one of the ground stations. Just wanted to share it with you. And you can see more of my space news at my Space Gab podcast at www.spacegabpodcast.com. This is Mike Coletta. Thanks a lot.